Hello ladies, it's Beth from Be Styled and I'm coming to you live in the boot camp for day two. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining the boot, boot camp. Um, and let's get started, all right? I want you to feel free to ask questions. I can see them as you type away. So if you have any questions as we go along, please just ask away. That's what I'm here for. This is some live coaching for you, okay? I Today is the sweat. Day two, I call it the sweat, because we're going to get into it a little bit here. Maybe a little philosophical, but it's still going to be fun and, and no heavy lifting yet. Um, if you got my email last night or you saw the, the exercises posted in Facebook, the, the main exercise, or the, there are two exercises, and the first one was to pick your three style words, the three words that you would use to either describe the style that you personally have or that you love or that maybe you would aim to have, whatever. Um, pick three words. And the feedback, I want you to go, if you get a chance, go and look at the posts from today where people typed in some amazing feedback about their words. And there's some really good words, a lot more interesting and um, better than my words. But I want to share my words um, and feel free to type in yours as well. We can talk about it. But I want to share my three words and give you a little bit of a insight on that. Um, then I want to talk secondly about two very common used words when it comes to style and kind of cash it out a little bit because I think there's some distinctions to be made and whatnot. And the two words I'm gonna talk about are trendy and classic. Okay, hi Barbara. The third word I'm gonna talk about that I got some really funny actual texts from customers last night is the word comfortable. <laughs> because I mentioned in my, um, what did I say? I mentioned in the assignment um, that comfortable is a feeling. It is not a style. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, you want to feel comfortable, but looking comfortable is not a style goal, right? How many times do you look at someone and say, wow, she looks comfortable. And are you, what are you saying about that look? <laughs> um, anyway, but that's the third thing I want to talk about. First, I want to talk about my three style words. They are, if I can recall, current, it was either current or modern. I think it's current, polished, and fun. Okay, those are, you know, pretty common, I guess, goals that someone might have. But the point I want to make about them is if, and it just occurred to me yesterday, of those, when you think about those three words, any of those three words by themselves is kind of a limiting style, right? If I said my, my, my style is current, I mean, there are a lot of, you know, especially bloggers and fashionistas who say my style goal is to be current. Um, but if, if, if that's your one style goal, you might start to veer off into trendy land, which we're gonna talk about next. Um, there's a difference between current and trendy, but if you're all current, if everything is current and new and you know really trendy and on trend, that could be a train wreck, right? <laughs> okay, so, so current by itself might not be so good for, for everyday style for people like, like us, like us girls here talking, okay? Um, polished, polish is a great word. Who doesn't wanna look polished? But on the flip side, if your entire look is very polished, like, wow, you look very polished. To me, that sounds very, very, um, I don't know, um, almost too polished. Like, is it possibly too polished? For my lifestyle, it really is possible to be too polished. Oh no, I don't have my, my thing on. Oh my gosh, have you guys been able to hear me? I did it again. I didn't put my microphone on. Barbara, can you tell me if any of this has been heard? Oh, I tell you, I'm a, talk about train wrecks. I am a train wreck. Cancel, cancel. Anyway, now you can hear me. Hopefully you heard any of that and you've stuck in. Anyway, polish in and of itself might not be a style goal. It might be a little too stuffy, right? Unless you're in, you know, in banking or in, in law and you're going up in front of a judge that day and you wanna look as polished as possible. But still, you're gonna to wanna to throw some other things in there too, right? So polish by itself is, is not perf is not maybe what I'm going for personally. And then number three, my third word was fun. You know me, I'm all about the fun. And what's wrong with being fun? But if your whole look is nothing but fun, that might not be so great, you know? So 
balance is what it's all about. Having your words and having and really thinking about what your three words are and how do they balance each other out, okay? So that leads to my next discussion, which is the trendy versus classic. I would say when I talk to my clients or to any of you out there, one of the most common things I hear is, well, Beth, I don't want to look trendy. I don't want to be trendy. And, you know, I am classic. I am. I want timeless classic looks. I do not want to look trendy. And I, I, I support that and I really understand what you're saying when you say that, but I want to kind of dig a little deeper because trendy has kind of, is kind of a word that can be misused, um, especially in our demographic. Um, if you're listening to me, chances are you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. Um, you are, you know, not a fashionista. You're not, you don't get Vogue every week or month or whenever it comes out and scour it and go to fashion shows in New York City. That's, that's not who I am and that's not generally my audience. So if that's who you are, then welcome. But my guess is it's not. <laughs> you're looking for more everyday style. You're shopping at Nordstrom and Loft and Old Navy and Target and Abercrombie, or not Abercrombie, probably not Abercrombie, um, Anthropology, those kind of places. And you just want regular, everyday, livable style. So if that's who you are and that's who I am, we're kind of a trendy proof crowd. You know, the people who make really trendy clothes, they're not attract, they're not targeting us. And when I think of something that's really trendy, I think of it more as a fad. And we are sort of a fad proof crowd. We are not jumping on the latest fad. If we have teenage or preteen daughters, or know them, know grandchildren, nieces, they're probably jumping on the fads. Um, but there's a distinction there between you know, a, a fad and ultra trendy versus being current and on trend. And I, I don't worry about any of you or me becoming too trendy, okay? Um, but on the flip side, when, when we're afraid of trends and we're afraid that if we try trends or we wear something that could be construed as trendy, that we're gonna look silly or that we're not gonna be classic anymore, I think is a mistake. I think it is possible to have a very classic look and to incorporate trends and be look current um, and modern, which to me is the goal. Um, it's, it's my goal, it's a lot of people's goal. Um, so, trendy versus classic. Does anyone have any questions about that? Are you hearing me? Can somebody give me a thumbs up that this sound is working? <laughs> I want to make sure I'm not talking into the abyss. Technical issues are a struggle of mine. Just let me know if you can hear me. Anyone? Anyone? It's not a good sign. All right, I'm going to continue. You can tell me if you don't hear me. Um, next, comfortable. We all want to feel comfortable. I am very comfortable today. I'm wearing, you know, a chambray top. And I, you can't see it, but I'm wearing my Modern Bohos by Peach, which are sort of a elevated sweatpant. They are comfortable, um, but they're cool. They're not sloppy, they're not slovenly looking, but they're comfortable. And for my day, they suit the day. And I still feel like I'm dressed and I still feel current, modern. I feel fairly polished because, you know, I'm wearing, I balance the, the casual pants with a button down shirt. Um, and I feel fun because I'm wearing my fun earrings. All right, but comfortable, if you define comfortable as, you know, I could lie down and take a nap at any given moment, or I could break into a yoga move in the grocery store at any given moment, we don't need that in our lives, do we? We don't need to be that comfortable. Um, I read an article recently, I think it was Tom Ford, was quoted as saying, um, talking about the difference between physical, like the, that a lot of times, to gain physical comfort in our clothing, we're giving up psychological comfort. And the importance of psychological comfort. What does that mean? Psychological comfort is feeling good with the way you look and the way you present yourself. Um, there are a lot of women who dress very comfortably in you know, hoodies and sweatpants and, and you know, kind of sloppy outfits that might feel comfortable, but they don't look, they don't, they don't have psychological comfort they actually look pretty uncomfortable a lot of times because they don't feel great in what they're wearing. So comfort is a good thing. I'm all for comfort. If something is truly uncomfortable, you know, it's scratchy or it doesn't fit or it's constricting or it's, you know, you can't breathe, then that's, that's not good style ever. So ditch it. But um, I would challenge you 
to give up comfort, you know, the next time you're getting, you know, the next week when you're getting dressed, sacrifice a little bit of comfort for psychological comfort. What could that mean? It could be mean putting on a pair of heels, you know, a, sh a shoe that's comfortable, but maybe, you know, a little out of your traditional comfort zone. Maybe it means putting on a pair of pants with an actual number in the back instead of a letter and, and wearing a pair of quote, real pants. Um, just try it and see if it makes you feel any different. Um, so that was my first, the first job was to come up with your three, your three style words. I'd be curious to hear what your three style words are. Now the second exercise was to identify the five to seven activities that you have on a daily, a weekly, daily basis. You know, going to the store, going to the office, going to the office maybe in a more elevated way, you know, for a big meeting or an interview. Um, going to lunch with your friends, going out with your husband etc. Come up with like the five or seven most common activities that you have and design, think, how do I want to look? What do I want to wear when I do those things? And I think Pinterest is a great way to kind of identify and create looks, mood, mood boards or whatever for your style. Um, and one tip that I have is to choose your one of your favorite retailers. Let's say, let's say your style is sort of a classic preppy style and you love Talbots go to the Talbot's website and they'll have most, almost all retailers will have, you know, looks put together. I'm not saying to go shopping. You don't need to do to go shopping to do this. Just go to there. So you're getting their that style that you like and go to their, their looks where they show, you know, models, you know, put in full outfits. Usually they're kind of lifestyle pictures. They're going out to lunch, they're outside posing, whatever, and, and find those outfits, those looks that you enjoy, that you like the look of, and save them to a Pinterest board. That doesn't mean you're gonna to have to go buy every little piece from Talbots that sells that. But you know, let's just say it was um, you know, a pair of camel pants and a, a black sweater and cool black loafers, for example, and some gold jewelry. Let's say that was the look and you saw it on the model and you thought, I like that. Save it and then think about it. Think about recreating that look using what you already own. Going to retailers whose aesthetic you appreciate and Checking them out and seeing what kind of outfits they have is a great way to, to help develop your own personal style. Um, so that's, that's, that's your second job for today, your second exercise is maybe start a Pinterest board, figure out what looks you enjoy for the different, for the different types of days you have. Maybe, there, you know, what's your look for when you are, like I am today, just hanging out at home? Um, what, what would you like, what kind of looks do you like? Do you like the athleisure look? Do you hate the athleisure look? We don't all have to agree but figure out what works for you. Um, and then when you are out shopping or you are building outfits, when you're putting together you know, ideas for outfits, think of your three style words and think, does this outfit resonate with my three style words? Um, and your style words can change. You can you know, go on the Facebook group and read other people's and say, oh, I like that one. Um, and and you know, ask me questions, write notes. I'm here to help. And thank you for joining. If, you, if anyone has any questions, again, drop them below. I will see you again tomorrow, same time, same place, for day three, um, which is the sweat. Tomorrow we're getting back in our closets and maybe working up a little bit of a sweat, okay? So I hope you'll join me and uh, thanks for tuning in today, either live or on the replay. Um, drop a note, let me know you were here, say hello, and um, if you haven't already, again, go just get dressed. Bye for now.